dashing Dr. Joseph Saunier reportedly planned to end his 10-month romance with Rochelle. Had he been able to end things with Rochelle Shatina, this whole tragedy might not have happened. Instead, the wealthy pathologist would be found murdered in the garage of his luxury home in Lubbock, Texas, discovered by a pair of gardeners working on the property. Hey, the person that's with you is... Oh, no! Oh, God! Ma'am? Ma'am, what's going on? I don't know. One of the gardeners is too hysterical to speak to the 911 operator and hands the phone to her co-worker. We walked in, there was a bullet on the floor. Uh -huh. We searched the ring and we found him in the garage. He is not moving, uh, the fuck he's been there for for a while, sir. Okay, is, uh, is he bleeding blood. or anything? Is he just, is he not breathing? What's uh, going on? No, so he's not breathing, and it looks like he's been there for, for a while. The blood has dried up. Police arrive at the crime scene to find a bloody Dr. Sonye lying dead face down on the garage floor, shot five times, and stabbed 11. You could chart what happened following the evidence. The doctor's attacker had apparently broken in through the rear of the house. And there was a huge picture window that you could see had been pushed in, and part of it was kind of uh, hanging out to the backyard. Detectives say the shooting occurred in the dining room where bullet casings were found. And we have a Gatorade bottle there that resembled a silencer or a uh, makeshift silencer. But the doctor was still alive and apparently tried to get away from his assailant. Well, then you start to see blood. And if you followed the blood down the hallway, you eventually got to the garage where the doctor was repeatedly stabbed until he was dead. We learned later that those stab wounds were uh, supposed to be where the killer felt vital organs would be at. Police think it may have been a robbery gone wrong until they discover that nothing was stolen from the house. It appeared to be just a random type of murder that had taken place. But investigators can't fathom why anyone would want to kill the highly respected and much loved pathologist. It was a really a whodunit at first. We, we didn't have any idea. And cops say everyone who knows Dr. Saunye is immediately under suspicion. Everybody is a suspect when you know when you don't know who did it. But investigators would come to believe jealousy may have been the motive, saying that Dr. Saunye had been seeing several other women at the same time he was dating Rochelle. And detectives bluntly declare him a serial ladies' man when they questioned her at the station. We talked to all of Joseph's people. Right. And we talked to several women that had been sexually involved with him. While okay. he was involved with me? Rochelle appears to be shocked, and the news gets worse. There were times that maybe you guys, you were out of town, and he would call other ladies. Who would he call? And this is information we're getting from... Yeah, this is statements. information that we're getting from statements and other girls. That I'd be out of town and he would call them and see them, or just call them? He would call them and, and see if they wanted to have sex. They would hook up. Local people? They were local, yes, ma'am. Rochelle tells detectives she didn't know Dr. Sonye had been unfaithful to her, insisting that she had nothing to do with his murder and providing police with an alibi for the night he was killed. Rochelle, when was the last time that you saw Joseph that you remember? I saw him on Monday night. We were at dance class. Okay. And I didn't go over to his house on Monday night. We said goodnight in the parking lot, and I went home. In another interview with police, Rochelle, who first told cops she didn't know her boyfriend had multiple girlfriends, starts weeping as she points to other women as possible suspects in the murder. I can't believe it. How did you do this? <laughs> No. You take as much time as you need. This time, a distraught Rochelle, wearing casual clothes and no makeup, looks like a different woman. And 
and she sobs frequently as she tells detectives that several jealous women from Dr. Sonye's past had been stalking him. One of them, a Florida dance instructor who wouldn't stop calling Dr. Sonye even after he told her he was now with Rochelle. And she, she started crying and she said, I just wish we had another chance. She says that another of Dr. Sonye's exes, a nurse, also refused to stop calling. He split up with her and she has called and called and called and I've been together with Joseph and the phone has rung and rung where, to the point where he's had to hang it up or have to turn off the ringer. And Rochelle tells detectives she had just recently received a threatening letter from yet another woman claiming Dr. Sonye had abandoned her and her daughter. It was from this girl who said her name was Tina and that um, she met Joseph on the internet and that they had sex for money, basically. She trusted him because he said he was a doctor and that he's a she said, I hope this hurts him as much as he has hurt us. But Joseph was like, I have, he totally denied knowing oh. this person. It was a yes. whole. He said, first of all, story. I've never paid okay. for sex in my entire life. And he said, I, you know, this is obviously someone trying to drive a wedge in between us. And she has an idea of who that someone might be. So there, there could be somebody that you think we, we need to look at him? Okay. Tell me about him. What's you know, his name? a couple of people. Okay, tell me about one of them. Okay, what is Dr. Mike Dixon? Dr. Mike Dixon. He's a plastic surgeon in Amarillo. And Dr. Dixon is not just another physician. He's also Rochelle's obsessed ex-boyfriend, and he's got a grudge. And I know that he blames me uh, for Breakup. Next, detectives make an appointment with Dr. Dixon. I, I have no idea what the hell's okay. going on here. And learn that he wanted to win Rochelle back from Dr. Sonier. I said, I can never, ever go back to that. Not ever. 